Now let's look at the transient modes available in the DL3000 electronic load. There are three different modes for pulsing the current load on your device. Continuous, pulse, which allows a single trigger per pulse period, and toggle, which is a, a trigger per state change. The most complex option is list mode, which allows you to sweep through a list of current, power, voltage, or resistance levels with defined timing and repetitions. Let's take a look at the transient modes and how the unique waveform display feature of the DL3000 can improve your product and reliability testing. Now for our transient test. We're going to start with three different ways to look at pulsed current in your load. The first is continuous mode. Here in continuous mode, we set two current levels, a high level and a low level, as well as slew rates and frequency. This test is great for high speed testing because you can set a frequency up to 30 kilohertz. Once we apply this function, we can activate it and then trigger the run. On this window it looks very stable, but if we look closer using our waveform graph reading, we can see this waveform updating. So this is actually the current waveform with about 1.6 milliseconds across the screen. So this is your 1 kilohertz current wave being read directly by the load itself. You can see it updating there every second. Now let's look at pulse mode. So while continuous mode works continuously upon one trigger, uh, a pulse mode requires a trigger for each period. Here we have the same settings, except we have a two second pulse width instead of a very fast pulse width. Let's activate this, change our view, and as I trigger a change, you can see pulse mode holds the two second pulse and then waits for another trigger. And I can trigger it at whatever rate I need to manage the loading that I require. The third way to do this is called toggle. Toggle mode, again with the same settings, let's see how this operates. Once we turn this on, we see that it holds level until I hit the train trigger button again. So using the transition button to trigger this, I can trigger as quickly or slowly as I wish. So in summary, the continuous mode is great for high speed testing, pulse mode is great for time testing, and toggle mode is really perfect when you need a really manual or triggered state changes. The fourth mode in the transient modes is a list. Here we have set a list from half an amp up to two and a half amps, a stair step of current. With each stair step you can measure current, voltage, power, and resistance. Let's activate that. So here we can see ramps up to 2.5 amps, starts again when I triggered it. and then it stops. So that was two 10 second sweeps from low current to high current. And you can set hundreds of steps and hundreds of cycles to get to maximize the kind of list you need to do. You can also do this list in, current, in constant voltage, constant resistance, or constant power modes. That was the summary of our four transient modes in the DL3000 electronic load. Each mode has a slightly different triggering configuration. But every mode can be triggered either from the front panel, as we just did, or from the digital I.O. on the back of the instrument, or from the bus. The variety of triggering capabilities gives you more flexibility in your testing as you use your electronic load in more advanced applications.